Hey, how's it going? I'm Anthony Todd. This is problem number four from my work, energy, and power, unit number three. So here we have a situation where an object moves according to the function of x is equal to t to seven over half, oh, seven over two to the power, sorry, x is um, equal to t to the seven over two power, where x is the distance traveled and t is the time. Its kinetic energy is proportional to which of the following? Okay, so this is where we're gonna have to do some calculus. It gives us a position function with respect to time and this is t is equal to 7 over 2. So that's through the power of 7 over 2. Now, we understand that in physics, the derivative of the position function with respect to time will give me a velocity function with respect to time. And the second derivative of a position function with respect to time will give me an acceleration function with respect to time. Okay? So it's asking the kinetic energy is proportional to what? So Kinetic energy is equal to mv squared all over 2. All right, so what we're looking at here is kinetic energy, if all is going to be constant per se, the mass is going away, we know kinetic energy is proportional to v squared. So, the, so to the velocity squared. Now, it gives us a position function with respect to time, but we need to find a velocity function with respect to time. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the derivative of this. All right, so the derivative of this, so the derivative of this position function with respect to time gives me this, 7 over 2 t, and then you have to subtract 1, so 2 over 2, so 7 over 2 minus 2 over 2, that's subtracting 1 from it, gives us 5 over 2. So up here we're going to have 5 over 2. So this is our velocity function with respect to time. But if you notice, our velocity function is actually squared. So what that means is we have to square this. So we're going to take 7 over 2 t, 5 over half, and we're going to square it. Now when you square uh, this type of function, per se, what you're going to do is anything out front, you're just going to square it. So 7 times 7 is 49. 2 times 2 is just 4. The t stays right there. Now, this is kind of a tricky part. Right here, kids think, oh, I, I square this too. Actually, you don't. With the exponents, you actually add them up. That gives you 10 over 2, which actually works out to 5. So this actually works out to this. 49 over 4, t to the fifth. So if we're actually looking at this, it's actually asking with respect to t. That means our kinetic energy is proportional to t over 5, and it is right here, or t to the fifth power, forgive me. All right, and that concludes problem number four of our work energy power unit number three. Questions? If so, this helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more physics content. Thank you.